Hi, hi, welcome to ATG, all things golf. This week's video is about, should this club be legal? And should you be able to use it in competition golf? Well, I look at it myself as uh, the beginning, really, of a Thank you kindly, Paul. Oh, goodness gracious me. Look what I've done. Unbelievable. I keep doing that. What am I going to do? Here we are. Denzel and I have hit our second shot into this green. Bit short, nothing too panicky. And we've both got a short chip to get as close to the hole as possible. Probably left me a six foot putt. Now Denzel. I have to say, Paul, I'm a bit nervous here. I get a little bit nervous. Uh, my short game's awful. If only I could chip and pitch, I'd be a much better golfer. Thank goodness Denzel's um, pitching and chipping is really quite bad. Because he's just two putted that. Oh. Although that was close. I've just two putted. So once again, Denzel and I are neck and neck. Both just missed the green. Same place. Surprise, surprise. Anyone think I was trying to prove a point? Okay, so I've now got probably a five foot putt. And Denzel, I want you to try this club, this special club that I'm going to introduce and see if it makes a difference to your short game. So here is the special club. It's a chipper. Have a close look. Hmm. Come on, Denzel. Strange looking club, Paul. It's almost like a putter, but with loft. I'll give anything a go to fix my short game. Marvellous. Yeah, that's a good shot, Denzel, mate. There's no way you would have got there with your wedge. I'm going to go while I wait for you. Yes. That bloody club. Marvellous, Paul. I'm now half the hole. I think I might use it again. What's it called? A chipper, you say? Hmm. So, what happened in that game, I hear you say? Well, as soon as I'd given Denzel the chipper club, the game, like, he turned his game around. He was 50% better uh, in and around the greens. And I'd only just given it to him, right? That's how much of a difference it made. So, we ended up halving that game. Now, if I hadn't have bought that club out and given it to him, I would have won that game because we are pretty similar at um, putting and everything else in the game and lovely, lovely. But my point is, how would it be if you just bought a driver called the Fairwayer? And basically you couldn't hook it, you couldn't slice it. All you had to do was just swing at it like that and it hit every fairway. That wouldn't be fair. 
Or how about I uh, decide to take part in the Tour de France, but because I'm not very good at pedaling, I put a motor on my bike. What's that all about? Is that acceptable? No. And basically, that's what you're doing. Someone hasn't got the ability or the skill to be good around the green with pitching and chipping, and you're taking it out of their hands because all they've got to do is hit the chipper and uh, they're all right. I used to play against, well, I still play against my mate, whose actual chipper that club was. And I can guarantee you now, there would have been a few games that I would have won if he hadn't have been allowed to use that chipper because his short game is not very good sometimes. I just think it's cheating. It's, it's yeah, it's just rude. Tell me what you're thinking. Comment down below. I just, I just can't accept that it's anything other than cheating. If you are not well or something, and I'm not being rude about anyone, uh, like you're an old man and, and got shakies or whatever, that's fine. You should be allowed to, a bit like you're allowed to have a buggy when you play in club competitions and what have you. Now, I'm all right with that, but if you're just a normal golfer or there's nothing wrong with you, should you be able to use a club that takes away the need to have a certain skill? No, 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 no. Thank you. I don't need to learn how to chip and pitch anymore. I was so rubbish at it. But now you have come into my life. I love you.